drain plug. This, as I remember, is a reverse thread. Tang ring. Tang ring. Say hi to Al, would you? Hey Al, how you doing? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Say hi to Al. What's going on, Al? <laughs> That's the mechanic Kevin here is rebuilding this motor. We're gonna yeah. get, we're gonna sure. get 500 horsepower out of it. That's right. With That's the right. supercharger. No less. So this is a left-hand thread. And we held the flywheel still by holding the armature bolt and cracking it. So you can see it turns this way to come off. So it's a left hand thread. So you don't want to be tightening it unless you're putting it back together. Alright, so I ran out of tape last time. Uh, I got some more memory for this video camera so we can finish reassembling. I know we missed a lot, but hey, what can I do? So, I'm going to take this apart so you can see how it goes together. I'm using these threaded screws to uh, compress the clutch plates. It's pressing down, squeezing the spring plate and the clutch plates together. That way I can relieve the tension so that I can get this uh, circlip off, or retaining ring, whatever you want to call it. There's the retaining ring.
So what we have here is these two bearings that I pressed in and then this gear that you can see here it's got a large gear on this side goes through the back of it there's a small washer, it's a flat plate and then there's a bearing that you push in and then there's a little uh, spacer and then another bearing you gotta heat the housing up and put the bearings in the freezer, grease them, tap them in and then once that, once you put this gear into place through the back of the housing this way it's held into place with the retaining ring right here there's a retaining ring or circlip okay inside there inside of this there's a, a retaining ring internal retaining ring and inside here I'm moving back and forth a little ball bearing cage. 40 ball bearings go in it. And you just grease them up so they stick on there. You fit that in there. It's a tedious job you got to be careful with. You make sure you get them all in. And you put the retaining clip on there to make sure you're good to go. So once you have that retaining ring in place, and you get your ball bearings in there with your circlip to hold them in. It's 40 ball bearings, 4 millimeter bearings in that little cage. Then you can put your uh, spring plate, these little cups and springs, you can slide them on. Doesn't matter how they go on. That's going to be your starting point. Next comes this plate. You notice this plate does not have three rod push rod holes. It looks very similar to this plate. This plate has the three holes. That goes on last. And when you put this on, it's got to line up the, these holes have to line up with the holes on your spring plate. It only goes one way. There it is. Next you have one of your rings with the uh, fiber on it. Then you got a steel plate. Now it's got to go in a, the right alignment. Make sure all your holes line up. Then another plate, another ring, and your last steel plate. And make sure that your push rod holes line up, the three of them. Here, here, and here. Once you have those in place, You need to put your sprocket on to line up those rings. 